bad? Do we have audio? Do we have video? I'm just waiting for this uh, little button to turn green. It's like yellow and red. Okay, y'all can hear me. Well, uh, today we're going to be working on a Morgan Silver Dollar. This is a 1886. It's going to be tail side out, which is my favorite way to do it. And uh, I'm just going to go ahead and pop this out and get it started. Uh, if at any point during this live you have any questions, feel free to ask. And uh, if you'd like to check out my shop, there is a little gold chain at the bottom of the screen you can tap on. All right, let's punch a hole in it. Well, we'll take a we'll take a good look at it before we get going. It's really a pretty nice coin. All right, now we'll work on it. That's good. Thank you guys for tapping the screen. Looks like we've got 223 likes so far. See if we can get that to 300 by the time I finish punching this through here. Uh, if you've never seen me before, I am Coin Ring Maker. I make coins into rings. Today we're working on a Morgan Silver Dollar from 1886. And if you'd like to get a coin ring, tap that gold chain down here and check out my store. Uh, also, give me a follow. All right, let's go. Center punch. And our coin. Now, if you look on the inside here, you can see that's pretty rough, right? So, what we're going to do is we're going to take this, it's called a deburring tool. And I'm just going to cut away at that and make it nice and smooth. Uh, this is kind of the slow, boring part, so if you guys wouldn't mind tapping the screen while we get through it. And again, if anybody has any questions, feel free to put them in the chat. There we go. Now, my landlord is expanding my fence in my backyard, so you're hearing him hammer. Uh, you're also hearing my hot water heater. We got all kinds of fun noises in the background today. Oh, I got that all nice and smoothed out. Now we're going to anneal it with some fire. Okay, I probably should do some laundry, right? Never a bad time to start a load of laundry. Oh yeah. This is like the hardest part to get my camera to focus on. I really wish I could get a good shot of the coin while I kneel it. And it just never really wants to focus in. But there's a lot of really cool color changes that happen during this process. It'd be nice to capture that. Getting some really nice gold tones on it. And we can kind of... There we go. Get some cool... Cool coloration. All right. 
All right, so far so good. Uh, do I keep the higher price coins? If I find anything that's like super rare or like an error, I, I do hang on to those. Uh, when I first started, I definitely was afraid to work on stuff like this. Uh, but over time, I've kind of expanded like what my limit for the minimum value of a coin I'll work on is. The most expensive coin I've worked on was a quarter ounce uh, gold American Eagle. Came out really nice, but man, I was super nervous working on that. Super nervous. Good afternoon. How you doing today, bro? So you caught me working on a uh, 1886 Morgan Silver Dollar. Uh, but wouldn't I consider myself a silver stacker? Hmm. I mean, I do have a decent amount of silver. More than I would have expected like a year ago. But I'm not really stacking it, hoping it will increase in value. It's more like inventory to me. It's like, uh, I don't know, it's my medium. Like, as an artist, it's, like, what I work on. So they're, like, canvases to me. That's kind of how I look at them. Or, like, clay. I look at a coin, all I ever see is the, uh, the ring I could make out of it. But there, there are a couple things I've kept for myself that are just, like, kind of cool. Like, for example, this is one I, I've kind of kept for myself. It's got, like, a, almost like a holographic. You can see it says icon, and then it's got, like, a statue's face on there. It's really cool. Would make a cool ring, I'm sure. But, yeah, there's, there's some that I hang on to that are just really neat. Here's another one that's just wicked. Crazy, crazy cool. Super symmetrical. Really cool. So yeah, I've, I've got an eye for silver. I definitely keep an eye out for it. So the uh, purpose of heating it up and cooling it down, it's a process called quenching and annealing. Well, annealing is the heating it up. Quenching is putting it in the water. As you work on these, you stretch them and shape them, uh, they become work hardened. Uh, they also get more brittle. So it's kind of to uh, loosen it up and uh, keep it from snapping. Uh, if it gets too brittle, you can, you can have stuff like this happen, where the coin will split before you get it into a ring. So that's one reason I, I pay a lot of attention to this cut edge, make sure that's nice and smooth the whole time, and we make sure our coin isn't getting too hard. It's something I kind of skipped when I first started, but over time I've I've learned the value of uh, annealing for sure. Ah, yeah, I probably have maybe ten coins that I've I've really decided to keep for myself, and that's over like a three-year period of doing this. Uh, that doesn't count my W quarters, though. Like, those I found in the wild. They, would, you know, they aren't silver, so I don't think they count as stacking silver. But I have <laughs> held on to them. I just think they're cool. Hello. Oh, yeah. Welcome back. Hey, we're working on a Morgan Silver Dollar today. I see the dollars as we know it gone soon. So you don't have to save the dollars. I don't know, man. Money's been around a long time. I don't see it going anywhere. Oh, yeah. It's uh, 1886. So that's well over 200 years old. Like 240, something like that. <laughs> 
It's an oldie. Oh, it's gonna make a beautiful ring, don't you worry. Oh, you're talking about the dollar I'm working on? Well, they actually uh, made some Morgan dollars. I think it was in 2021. Uh, they're fine silver, though, so they're not as strong as these. And the price point they wanted for them was like three times as much as like a 100-year-old Morgan. So I didn't really touch them, but they did make some. Which I thought was cool. Uh, they were asking way too much for them, in my opinion. You've got a few Morgans. Morgans are nice. I, I like them. Got a nice weight to them. Got a nice sound. Lots of really pretty detail. And for like how old they are, they're, they're in really good shape most of the times. Did you make most of my tools myself? I did make a couple tools. Uh, most of what I got was from Harbor Freight or from like specialty uh, coin ring suppliers. Uh, like Jason's Works. And let me see here. The other one is Legacy Brand Tools. That's this one. Legacy Brand Tools. No. I was super smooth and turned off my phone. I don't know what that did for you guys. Can you hear me? Can you see me? <laughs> I turned my phone off because I'm super smart. Use the quarters. I make a lot of quarter coin rings. For sure. I'd hate to actually figure out how many quarter coin rings I've actually made. I'm sure it's close to a thousand. Quarter coin rings I've actually made. I'm sure it's close to a thousand. Cowboy hats, yeah. I don't know, they, those are weird. Like, they'll sell a whole bunch for like a little bit and then nobody will get any. Which doesn't really bother me. I prefer making rings, but like, the flow of sales on cowboy hats is super strange. Got at least five from you. I think they're sweet. Yeah, I think they're super cool. If nobody knows what I'm talking about, you can tap the gold chain down here. Uh, go to my website and check out the uh, cowboy hat coins. They're pretty sick. Uh, you can tap the gold chain down here. Uh, go to my website and check out the uh, cowboy hat coins. They're pretty sick. 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 Oh my gosh, my dyslexia tricked me for that for like a second. I read it as I've gotten so many complaints <laughs> about my rings. <laughs> I was like, oh no. Compliments. That's good to hear. I love hearing that. Oh, it does say complaints. <laughs> hey, we figured it out. That's funny. That's, oh, I'd love to hear it. If you guys have a free minute and you haven't yet, uh, please leave a review on the website. Uh, under each, uh, like on the product listing page, under the photo, there's a button that says reviews or leave a review. If y'all have a free minute to take, please go leave a review. Uh, let other people know what you think of my work. I sure would appreciate it. Okay, 
go. So we got that folded all the way, 17 degrees. Looking really nice and even so far. Stop altering history. That's an interesting complaint. I mean, the great thing about history is it's always changing, right? You can't, you can't stop changing. Oh, I bet. Stop biting my nails. See, there's a more reasonable complaint. I'll take that one. There's no ring so far. bit past 11. Target size for this is a 10, so we can jump right into reducing it. So for that, we're going to need some tape. Let's see if I can track some down. Stop making awesome stuff. I never will. I refuse. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, check these puppies out. I'm gonna add uh, these years to my inventory today. I got a dang good deal from uh, CoinHub. I don't know if you guys on here are following CoinHub. He's taught me a lot about pennies and uh, he does unsearched penny rolls. But he was like, I got these proof sets. I just want to get rid of them. I was like, send them my way. Let's go. I will put them to good use for sure. Yeah, that was a good deal. There we go. So we're putting, uh, this is like plumbing tape. Really strong plumbing tape. Oh, you want to you wanna see the proof sets? See, we got one open here. This one is already sold, so we're going to be making that one pretty soon. These are really cool. They come with a whole bunch of coins. Usually, I just get the uh, the quarters for these years. She got all the state quarters there. But this time, we got a really nice proof Sacagawea, proof Penny, Nickel. I think the dime is 90% too. But what I'm really after is these. I think those the 90% silver proof half dollars come out so freaking pretty there's nothing really like it that i found they come out so <laughs> they're just gorgeous super smooth super shiny i'll find something to do with them i'm sure it's the nickels is really what what gets me the most it's like what am i going to do with these nickels I don't work on nickels. The dimes, I can probably make a ring out of. The pennies, I don't know if there's much I can do with them. They're just kind of cool. Proof pennies are pretty. But yeah, I could I could totally put them in flips and sell them on eBay. Ooh, older proof sets. Very nice. As far as the proof sets, I really only go back to like 92 I don't have any really older proof sets. Uh, where do I get proofs? Um, from trusted uh, silver traders that I know. I also buy some stuff on eBay. I got those from a guy. Uh, his account is CoinHub. Here on TikTok, he doesn't really sell uh, silver too much. He's more into uh, pennies. But he had those, and the deal was right, so I went for it. My proof sets go all the way back to 63. Ooh. I'm not just melting them. And they made, like, hundreds of thousands of these things. Like, 
there's a lot <laughs> of these coins out there. If you want one, you can go to eBay and spend the same amount I did on them, and you can get one too. It's not that hard. That's true. I do make the uh, remaining coins more valuable. That is true. Maybe I should look at some of the older silver proof sets. What's the Teflon uh, tape step I did? So I use blue monster tape. It's just a little bit stronger than the average like white Teflon tape. And what that does is it protects the outside detail as we're sending it down the Swedish wrap die. That's the one I'm using over here. And uh, if we don't do that, you get metal on metal contact. And those are made of steel. This is made of 90% silver. So this is gonna give before that does, and it just really mashes the details. So this puts a nice barrier between it and uh, helps keep those details intact. <laughs> it's good for the economy. Yeah, uh, if anybody else has any questions, feel free to ask. With these uh, thicker coins, there is a lot of back and forth with the annealing process, but it's definitely worthwhile. You're going to get a better looking ring. It's just regular water. It's a little dirty because uh, when I put the coins in there, some of the fire scale kind of rockets off it. Uh, but it's just regular water from the sink. You don't need anything too fancy. Room temperature water. I can tell you're not a plumber just by the way I wrap that. Well, no, I'm uh I make jewelry. <laughs> I thought that was pretty clear. <laughs> Uh, Walking Liberty 1945 or 1950. I'll probably have 45. Uh, I'd have to check my dates to see what's available. I know I have a bunch of 44s. For some reason, I got way too many 44s. <coughs> but if I don't have them, uh, go, go check the website and just uh, scroll the dates and see if it's there. If I don't have them, I can definitely get them for you. track those down oh you can bet I will I'm not gonna stop anytime soon it's too much fun let's see here we didn't push it very far in that last die so we should still have a little bit of time before we have to anneal it again Definitely starting to work harden up now. Get nice and small too. Again, we're shooting for a size 10 on this sucker. Did I switch to blue tape recently? Um, I think I switched like a year and a half ago. Sometimes I'll still use white tape if I don't have any blue, but blue monster works just it's so much better I, I have to use like I don't know four three times less wraps it's stronger it does a better job it holds on better I, I just really like it I think it it's working really good and it's not super expensive either I have not mastered the Swedish wrap my coins get stuck in it all the time um try this stuff Do you have any uh, Pepe lube or any kind of dry lube that you can just kind of uh, rub on the inside of the die? That'll help uh, keep it from getting stuck. The tape helps too, uh, just having a little barrier there. I'm not sure if you're using monster tape or not, but I, I definitely recommend it. It's very, very good.
What's going on, man? Caught me working on a uh, Morgan Silver Dollar. Do I drill the initial hole in the coin? No, I've seen some people do that. Uh, I tried it a couple times. I don't like it because uh, it's, it's really hard to get it right in the middle. And if the drill skips, it'll mess up the detail on the coin. So you get like scratches in it. Uh, I use this thing. This is a auto centering punch. It's a specialty tool for coin ring makers. You can put your coin on this platform right here. And as you tighten this down, it's funnel shaped. So it'll automatically center because getting the hole right in the middle is very important for having an even band. And that's kind of tricky to do without specialty tools. Uh, before I got this thing, I made these, which are a, a similar concept. So you put your coin on one side and you put your, uh, your punch on the other. So this one right here is a, a half inch punch and it's, it's lined up right on the, the middle of the coin there. And I, I used a, a Harbor Freight punch and die kit for these. And that worked pretty well for quite a while. But when I wanted to get into like bigger coins, uh, just different size coins, I, I decided to invest in this. Uh, this is made by Jason's Works. It's a fantastic tool, but it is definitely a little pricey. I would recommend making, I don't know, a hundred coin rings before you decide to jump into more expensive coin ring tools. Make sure you really like it because it can get pretty expensive. Thank you. Well, I've been doing this for three years, and the rings have all paid for the tools, which is really nice. Uh, drilling loosens the center punch. Uh, blue works better than regular. Teflon tape. I always use Blue Monster. Yeah, dude, Blue Monster is dope. I love it. Yeah. Um, like, last year, 2021... Uh, December, I got a ton of Christmas orders, right? So I was expecting that to happen in 2022, and it was just crickets all December, really, really slow. And then as soon as January 1st hit, from January 1st to January 7th, I got 150 orders. So I've been super busy trying to catch up on those and get them out uh, in, a, in a decent amount of time. So I haven't been able to get on live very much. But we got all of them caught up, which is good. Let's see here. Yeah, it was a bit of a shock. I developed some blisters. <laughs> Not gonna lie. But, uh, it was a good way to start the year, for sure. Thanks for following. Thank you. I try, I try. got to keep the lights on. That's true. It's hard to make rings in the dark. Yeah, I had a guy going off on me yesterday saying that my rings were too expensive because he bought an American Silver Eagle ring seven years ago and it only cost him 50 bucks. I tried to explain to him silver prices have changed yeah and like I'm not just doing this as a hobby you know this is a full time business it's not <laughs> it's not as easy as I make it look I don't know I try not to get offended I also try not to offend him but it got to me a little bit people are crazy here recently I was just like, man, you bought that seven years ago. Like, good good for you, but I 
can't get by charging fifty dollars for a Morgan dollar ring. Morgan coins cost fifty bucks. Like, I don't know. That looks nice. Oh yeah, let's get this tape off of here. That's true. Yeah, lay, labor, tools, inventory, time, marketing, website costs, shipping costs, shipping supplies. A lot that goes into running a business. Had to block another cornering maker last month, but commented in their live. You were at Navarro's websites. Who was it? Was it Waller? <laughs> yeah, you missed the rant. <laughs> who was complaining? Uh, this guy who bought uh, an American silver, silver eagle ring like seven years ago. Yeah. I, I, I don't know about Waller. I, I tried, I tried with him, and, uh, I don't know, I, I don't think he likes me, or he's intimidated by me, something, so I, I just stopped messing with him. Uh, 1980, I have copper clad quarters available for that year. So after 64 up to 92, it's really tricky to get uh, silver coins. But I do have copper ones. Uh, they can turn your fingers green, so I do want to let you know that. Uh, but if you don't mind, you can put clear fingernail polish on the inside. And that helps quite a bit. Uh, you can visit my website, coinringmaker.com. Links on my profile, or you can tap the gold chain at the bottom of the screen. He was cussing you out. Dude, bullying is not allowed on TikTok. That's true. Yeah, I didn't just wake up one day and figure out how to do this. This took a long time to get right, and I still make mistakes. So the last time I was on a live with Waller, uh, I don't know, this was two months ago, something like that, he'd asked a question about a coin. Right? He was like, uh, what year was yada, 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 something, something. And I know a bit about coins, so I was just like, oh, here's your answer. And then he, like, whispered to his moderator to mute me. Like, I heard him say it. He was like, mute him. So I got muted. I was like, okay, whatever. And just kind of hung out for a minute, because I like watching people make coin rings. And he was like, he was like talking about me. He was like, is he gone? Oh, coin ring maker like i'm so mean i try to be such a nice guy just answer a question and so i i don't even mess with him anymore man he's got he's a weird fella and like he told me later he was like i blocked you because your username is your website and i don't want people to go from my life to your website which is like, I, I wasn't trying to promote my stuff or make sales. Like, I was just watching him work and answering a question he asked. No, it's not a Carson City. Uh, this one's got an O on it somewhere. Where is it? There it is. O. So, yeah, I just stopped messing with him. Which is weird because, like, when he first came on to TikTok... Right, I've been doing this a while. I've been making coin rings on TikTok a while, so I gave him some tips. And like he straight up copied a video I made, like and and I wasn't mad about it. I was like, "Great, he's taking inspiration from my work. He's doing good. That's awesome." And then I helped him with like cap cut and editing videos a little bit. And then he totally flipped and just became a I don't know, like a weirdo. So I don't mess with him.
your cheap Harbor Freight tool doesn't cut that nice. Well, actually, these are Harbor Freight blades on just a thicker handle. Don't normally comment on other people's business in someone's lives, but he started to piss me off. Yeah, he's he's got that way about him. Like, he just, uh... I don't know, he's irritating. Probably the most irritating coin ring maker I've come across. Most coin ring makers are very accommodating and helpful and friendly. And he just seems to be like, I don't know, jealous and envious and rude. <laughs> uh, Waller in the holler. Another coin ring maker here on TikTok. Not trying to start any drama. Tried to be nice to the guy. Some people just don't want to be your friends. Uh, you can visit my website, coinringmaker.com. You can also tap the gold chain at the bottom of the screen. Waller is too slow. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> See, you already know about him. <laughs> Don't waste your time. Oh, Waller. Chilling in the sweatpants. I don't know. I would be embarrassed to just lounge on TikTok Live in sweatpants. No, you're fine, man. I'll talk about it. I'm not trying to be mean. Uh, wouldn't it be easier to use a lathe? It probably would be, um, but everything I do is handmade, so I really emphasize on not using any kind of machinery uh, while I work on my rings. Watched them a few times. Well, it takes 15 minutes to do an hour job. The deburring block thing he made? Yeah, I like that. Two rings from you and the Jolly Roger. Loved them. Oh, fantastic. Uh, if you haven't yet, please go leave a review on the website. Have to order another Jolly Roger one. It's been misplaced. Oh, that sucks. It's really fat. It's a pretty thick ring. I'm not going to lie. I like to keep the eagle's head on there, so that's that's what I shoot for. Oh, thank you so much. Say, so did you email me yesterday? It's so hard to tell who's who. From email to TikTok to orders on the website. I get usernames and websites and then people's names. It's tricky to keep track of everybody. <laughs> no? Okay. Uh, where did I find the re-reader? Uh, this is a deburring tool. Uh, you can get, like, a tool that puts, like, this reeded edge on the other side. Uh, you can find those on Etsy, if that's what you're looking for. It's really hard to get them perfectly centered, though. I've had a lot of trouble with it. And it sucks to have a really nice ring finished and then try and add another reeded side and it's all off center and looks bad. So I I gave up on it. I'm not gonna lie, I gave up. Still a little bit of a lip on here. I wish there was a way to have no reed. Oh yeah. I've seen some people use uh, like drill bits to, to cut away at the reed. That seems pretty quick and handy. But again, I try not to use any power tools.
Oh, have no read? Well, that can be sanded down. Like, you can have it so there's no read. Uh, just by getting, like, a nail file and filing it down. I've done that once. Yeah. should be pretty good that's the only reason i've ever bought one <laughs> well yeah um if if that's what you'd like i can do that for you uh, if you do place an order there's a little space at the end where you can put like a nice comment or something just let me know that you want me to sand that reeded edge off for you and i can do it for you no it's my heater I'm right next to my heater and my water heater, so it's it's a battle I'll never win. There's always going to be weird background noises. Seems the fit is on is that the read only. Huh? I, I don't know. I've been making rings. I have been making corn rings for about two and a half years. Let's see if we got that edge all the way. It looks pretty good. Do the feel test. Feels pretty good. <laughs> yeah, go check out the shop. There's plenty to pick from. That's for sure. Now, if you have any other questions, let me know. Uh, one ounce is two ninety nine. I do have uh, half ounces as well. Those are one forty nine. So the target size for this was a ten. So we got to reduce a little bit more. For sure. make sure y'all hit the follow button okay that way you don't lose me here in this crazy wild tiktok world now this is really tricky we want to make sure we only reduce this half a size close. I might have hit it. I might have hit it already. Right, thank you guys for watching. Had some lively conversations today. I was going to say it's ten and a half again. No, nope, that's pretty dang close to ten right there.
All right, guys, so do you want to watch me clean and polish this ring, or do you want to watch me make another coin ring? So I got to do both, but it doesn't really matter what order I do them in, so let's, let's take a vote. That'll be fun. Do this. <laughs> uh, smiley face for polishing and uh, crying for another coin ring. Right, if you want to see me polish this one, do a smiley face. If you want to see me make another coin ring, do a crying face. Ooh, polish coming up from behind. It's tied. What am I supposed to do? If you haven't voted yet, make sure to vote. Smile a face if you want to see me polish this. Crying face if you want to see me make another coin ring. did not make this decision easier <laughs> that's hilarious all right we'll polish this and then make another coin ring yeah we'll do that so this is the uh the polish i have fallen in love with this is called mother's mag and aluminum polish it is absolutely fantastic so we're just gonna get just a little bit here. And if you're using this stuff, you wanna make sure to use a, a microfiber cloth. When I first started using it, I used uh, blue paper towels and this microfiber cloth just works much, much better. It's <laughs> literally what the directions on the tub say to use and they are correct. That's what you should use. So we're gonna coat this all around the inside and outside. I believe it's at 1886. If you're asking if I have that year, uh, it's entirely possible. You would need to check my website's inventory. You can do that by going to the link in my profile or tapping the gold chain at the bottom of the screen. I do have quite a few years, but they're just kind of uh, random. They made Morgan dollars for quite a while. So, there we go. We're going to let that sit on there for about a minute. Just kind of let it sink in to whatever's on that ring. If anybody else has any questions, now's a good time to put them in the chat. And I gotta figure out what the next ring's gonna be. Ooh. You know what we could do? <coughs> I just got this one this order in for this one today. I've been holding it for a while. So I was born in 88, so I thought it would be a cool ring to make for myself. Uh, the Morgan Dollar rings are $2.99, or $1.99, I'm sorry. They're 200 bucks. So this is the next one we're gonna work on. This is a 90% silver, 1988 Olympic dollar. I think this one's going to come out really cool. I've never made one of these before, but I really like the placement of the 88 on here. Because you can see where we're going to punch it. It's going to leave that whole date nice and clean. So that's, that's going to be the next one we work on. Leaves out. I, I think it would look good both ways, honestly. But for like people in the 80s who are looking for like a 90% silver coin, this is really one of the few options you, you have. It's got really great detail on it. The text is really nice and bold. It's a little bigger than you usually see as well. It's got these nice leaves. I think In God We Trust should be on there as well, and the mint mark. Really nice detail. It's going to make a really cool ring. Yeah, there's leaves on both sides. You're right, you're right. Yeah, we got leaves on both sides. I think the inside's going to look really cool too. So that'll be next, it's a little preview there. And now 
we can rub this polish off here. And what's really cool is you like it to see how clean you're getting it. Yeah, I'm a youngin. Like old soul, you could say. But like as we start to polish this up, you're going to see a bunch of black stuff come onto the, uh, the microfiber rag here. And that means it's working. That means it's getting clean. And this is so much easier than a lot of other cleaning and polishing methods I have tried. I really, really like Mothers. If you haven't tried it out, you should definitely give it a try. Cleans up really good. Especially uh, the fire scale on copper clad coins. That's really hard to get off. Uh, this stuff knocks it right off. Like magic. Yeah, I'm a youngin', y'all. I feel old, though. I'm not 20 no more, I'll tell you that. So now we've got most of the polish off of there. You can still see there's a little bit of residue in the finer cracks. So we're just going to dunk this in the water and rub it off again. Yeah, I want to do a uh, comparison video between Mothers and Fritz. But I haven't seen any Fritz anywhere. I think I'd have to order it online. I was just lucky enough to see this at Walmart one day and gave it a shot. And literally, this is the only one I've ever bought. Like, you can use this forever. There's well worth it. Got the blue Fritz. All right, man, we'll see you next time. Thanks for stopping by. Yeah, I really like it. Because it doesn't take a lot of work on an elbow grease to get a really nice shine. You see how reflective this is now? It's nuts. This is going to be a hard video to <laughs> to edit down into a TikTok because I'm just talking crap about Waller the whole time. <laughs> oh, jeez. It'll be fun to repost on YouTube all the way. I promise I'm not here for the drama. I tried to be friendly. He was rude to me. That looks nice, isn't it? Freaking dope. Yeah, he's the one who muted me. And then kicked me out because my username scared him. He's like, oh no, his username's a website. Ah, people might leave my stream and go buy shit on his website. No. <laughs> not trying to steal your customers Waller. I've got I've got my own. I'm good. I am not a threat. I just like watching people make coin rings, man. And he's on here all the time. Right? He he does take his time. Like I try not to rush, but uh he goes off on the tangents. He has a hard time talking and working at the same time, I think. And uh, he just, he likes to talk. God, this looks great. Beautiful. Gorgeous. Fantastic. All right, I'm going to take uh, about a five-minute break and then hop back on here, and we will make the 88 Olympic silver dollar. If you haven't followed me yet, make sure to hit that follow button so you can catch when I go live again. 
Uh, if you'd like to get a coin ring or just check out the website, it is do, 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 coinringmaker.com. Uh, thanks for watching. Y'all have a great day. Catch you next time.